Welcome back to Wolfenstein The New Order. Alright, gotta clear the path ahead for everybody else. So, as far as perks go, I want to focus on getting more stealth kills. I want to get more kills from cover using the pistol, and also just stealth kills in general. Will get me some perks. And maybe even use that mounted gun there. Maybe. So I'm going to try to be a little bit stealthy. Well, I could just get on the turret and get some kills from it right now. But that'd be very, very unstealthy. No thanks. Also want to try taking out that commander first. Before I raise the alarm. Wasn't there another person just, like, right down here? Oh, there they are. They go all the way around the building. Commander nearby. Oh, dog. Sorry, puppy. Ah, nice. Nice knife sheath plus. I think that allows me to hold one more knife. Yeah, nice. I can also get another one just by getting more thrown knives. I don't think I need that many knives though. So stealth kills using silenced handgun. I still want to get those. Also using getting uh, kills from cover using handgun. So I can get both of these at the same time. Hopefully. Yeah, that should count for both. Does somebody see? Nope, we're good. I can't believe I still haven't boosted my health to 200 yet. There's a perk for that. Oh, I also need more grenade kills too, but also that's totally separate from stealth, of course. Oh, 175! I'm so close! Blaskowitz, why did you just throw a knife? Can I come up here? Ah, damn. Fake ladder. Right, let's get to the mounted weapons. I remember these. 
Oh shit. Gotta get away from those things. Okay, I'm definitely dead. <laughs> yeah, hmm. Those mounted weapons are tempting, but you're just a sitting duck with them, whether you detach them or not, I guess. Unless I take them to like the side of a building where I can kind of peek out and then go back in and then peek out and go back in. I think grenades are going to be my friend here. Also, pistol's definitely not going to work here. Uh, do wield these probably be pretty good. Maybe the marksman rifle? Probably not. Ooh, I think I got it. Oh, I'm out of grenades. Was too bad. <laughs> Look at all this armor that I can't take. Sie können den Kaffee auf dem Tisch abstellen. <lacht> es Augenblick mal. Lassen Sie sich mal ansehen. Hm, ja. Sehr schöne arische Züge. Findest du nicht auch, Bobby? Ja, mir gefallen seine Augen. Bitte, setzen Sie sich. Entschuldigen Sie mein Benehmen. Ich bin Obersturmbandführer Engel. Und das ist mein liebreizender Begleiter. Das bist du doch, Bubi. Was soll das, mein Schatz? Ey? <lacht> ich möchte Sie einem Test unterziehen. Damit lassen sich Spuren unreinen Blutes, die in den Adern einer Person fließen, feststellen. Ich bin mir sicher, dass Sie diesen Test mit Leichtigkeit bestehen werden. Und wenn nicht, dann werde ich Sie erschießen. Haben Sie das verstanden? Das ist nur ein Test! 
just mustache twirling Nazi villains doing their thing. Wenn Sie nach der Waffe greifen sollten, sind Sie tot. Noch bevor Sie Ihre Entscheidung bereuen werden. Gut. Lasst uns anfangen. Wählen Sie das Foto, das Sie erregt. Wenn Sie wissen, was ich meine. <lacht> Okay, when I watched the person play through this, they got through this successfully. They didn't mess it up, and they didn't try to go for the gun. So just for curiosity's sake... Okay, uh... Eyes or mouth? God, I don't know. Ach so. Und jetzt wählen Sie das Foto, das in Ihnen Glücksgefühle auslöst. Yeah, so the person I watched play through this chose the ones that they thought would be associated with whiteness. You know, Aryan. They're trying to see if there's any quote-unquote impure blood running through my veins. So I think they went with the flower because it's white. I wonder if you can actually fail the test. So I'm gonna try. Let's go with the butterfly. Interessant. Meinen Sie, dass dieser Mann unreines Blut hat, Bernhard? Ich weiß nicht, Frau Obersturmanführer. <lacht> ja, das werden wir bald wissen, nicht wahr? Diesmal wählen Sie das Bild, das Sie am meisten mit Abscheu erfüllt. Of course, you're supposed to choose the spider. How would you be disturbed by mass deaths? Mass graves. Ich hätte sagen sollen, dass das Ihre letzte Wahl ist. Also wählen Sie weise. Ich sage Ihnen etwas. Wenn Sie ein nicht aria gewesen wären, hätten Sie zur Waffe gegriffen. Sie müssen diese Dame schon entschuldigen, aber sie ist sehr stolz darauf, diese Bilderrätsel mit wildfremden Männern zu spielen. <lacht> diese Bilder! <lacht> Urlaubsfotos, alte Kriegsaufnahmen, <lacht> gar nichts! <lacht> Davon abgesehen kann ich ein Nicht-Aria mit bloßem Auge erkennen. Du etwa nicht? <lacht> Lassen Sie ihn gehen, Bernhard! Ich nehme mal an, eine bildhübsche Frau wird in seinem Abteil warten auf ihn. Ach, Bobby, lass gut sein. So, I guess there's no way to fail it. Other than Sie choosing the gun. Ihre Freundin nicht. You can read that if you'd like. You know there's just one bed. Yes. Are you comfortable sharing? Sometimes Christmas. Sometimes birthdays. Sometimes mayhem. Suffering and death. Sometimes you just need to feel something good. Good morning, Mr. Kinder. Good morning, Mr. 
Nächster Halt ist Berlin. Dort haben wir exakt zwei Stunden Aufenthalt, bevor wir in Richtung Zagreb weiterreisen, unserem endgültigen Reiseziel. I know where to go. A way to get inside Eisenwald Prison. There's a hotel, it's on the same street as Secret Police Headquarters. Everybody knows about it. I love those transitions. Secret Police Headquarters is notorious here in Berlin. They bring prisoners inside for questioning. They torture them. And then they drive them back to Eisenwald Prison. If they're still alive. Something's happening. There's a prison transport arriving. Come quickly! Wait, but there's collectibles or stuff. You can read that if you'd like. They're making a pickup. You find a way to get down on the roof of that prison transport bus. You hide on that roof and you can ride it all the way into Eisenwald prison. I go down and distract the guard. And maybe he won't see you. things I want to mention. I really love the transitions in this game, and also just how tight the editing is. So some of the transitions are super stylish, like the one we just saw, where we saw Anya getting up and going towards the, the door or the window in the train car, and then it just instantly cut to the exact same like configuration of everything, but in a different location, getting up out of this bed and going to the window here in this hotel. Just really stylish, but also just how tightly edited everything is. They really don't waste any time when you're going through cutscenes or getting from location to location, you don't like have to agonizingly wait as you get from place A to place B. They really cut quite a bit, which is very nice and very refreshing to see, because a lot of games seem to be kind of uh, sort of obsessed. I mean, even in the new God of War, that was kind of a big part of the marketing is like no cuts ever. It never cuts. Just constant camera throughout the entire game. It's like editing and, and cuts are not bad they're <laughs> they're good they allow you to cut out stuff that isn't interesting keep the pace up so i really like that they've done that uh, and the other thing is it's interesting the relationship between blaskowitz and anya like obviously in a, a pretty short amount of time at least since waking up they've gotten really close to each other and intimate but it is just a very small amount of time but for blaskowitz for Anya, it's been years and years. I mean, what did she say? It had been 14 years or something like that? I don't remember that's exactly how long Blaskowitz has been uh, asleep for. But yeah, it's been many years that Anya has been caring for Blaskowitz. She's known Blaskowitz for, for so long. And I guess in some way Blaskowitz has too. I mean, he's been conscious while Anya's taken care of him. But, you know, he didn't really interact with her. It was very much one-sided. So it's kind of interesting. Anya is definitely the one that's pursuing a relationship with Blaskowitz rather than the other way around. Blaskowitz is just a broken person. I mean, he's lost basically everything. His family, uh, a large part of his life, not being able to do anything until he finally fully woke up. Uh, he obviously has PTSD. He's horribly traumatized. It's a very broken person. Secrets? Looks like that'll lead down to the street. What's in here, though? Birdman's letter. Not gonna read that, but you can if you'd like.
back to having no weapons. It's actually kind of interesting. It's one of the interesting things about the, the way they've paced it is a lot of things happen. Like you end up in very different places, in very different situations, where your weapons disappear, come back, they completely change, you have totally different ones, depending on your situation. Uh, I'm guessing we had to ditch all our weapons because we went onto the train, and I'm sure there's pretty stringent security checks. Kind of keeps things fresh. I think you'll see more of that later. How do I... Oh... That's a collectible Nazi gold in there. I can get that later, though. Um, I think in this level we get something that can cut through this here. A very cool tool. Oh, actually we're getting it right now. Just got a battery. Right, that goes inside of this thing. Laser cutter. Battery's low. Needs a recharge. Tool for cutting through thin wire fences, chains, and other small steel objects. Cut an opening in a fence by moving the target reticle in the desired direction. Make a complete shape like a circle or a square. Need to recharge it. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Does it have an alternate fire mode? Doesn't seem like it. Not yet, anyway. There we go. Alright, let's get that Nazi gold. It's so cool. It's so beautiful and you can cut out just arbitrary shapes. It's like endless entertainment for me here. Collectible picture frame. What the heck? One of the awkward things about the tool, though, is that you can cut out shapes that sort of like almost allow you to get through an area, but not quite. So you get weird things that happen like that, or like this, where I'm having trouble just getting out of here. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, I think it takes a while for you to be able to get a weapon in this section, so I should use stealth, otherwise I'm going to take a lot of damage. And you can use a laser cutter to do some damage to people, by the way, or any enemy, but not very much. It's not very effective. Much better to stick with a knife. See how long it can stay stealthy for. <laughs> this is all being captured on camera. Good thing nobody's looking right now. That's all of them for now. Oh. Sorry, puppy.
That's a fun little detail. I never saw that in the playthrough I watched. prison. I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.